It may be a beautiful day in New York, but it is not a beautiful day in my heart because this might be the end of the 2001 Ford Taurus, boys. So earlier, I started the car, I drove it down to the gas station, and after I got gas, the car wouldn't start. It started stalling. Thankfully, the car started, and I was able to drive it back home. But what ended up happening was if I put the car in reverse, the car would stall, and now it's not starting at all. So let me show you guys what's going on here. So my car has been in the middle of the street like this for two days. I've kind of been hoping someone's gonna hit it so I can get some insurance. But uh, <laughs> it was actually about three feet into my neighbor's driveway the other day, and I had to take my mom's old car and push it back forward. I had to use her car to push it forward and uh, get it back in the spot. Um, it's in here now. Let me show you how it doesn't start. It wasn't starting the other day. Yeah, this is what's happening. So it's turning over, but it's not starting. The engine light was on. Brakes are going on. Almost started there. So when I hit the gas, it actually starts. So if I hit the gas, but look, as soon as I put it in reverse. Oh, wait, it's going in reverse now too. If I shift gears to drive. So the car started, but I think you guys can hear it. it's shaking like crazy. Usually when I put it in reverse, it stalls. It's working now. Um, so I had, yeah, and the engine lights on. So I had to feed it gas. So it might be a, a starter issue or a heat sensor issue. Uh, I'm getting the mechanic to come look at it now. Man, I really smell some gas. So there might even be a leak. So mobile mechanics coming uh, to check out the car. It's gonna be 75 to diagnose it. And as much as I don't wanna put another cent into this hunk of crap, uh, either way, if it costs me a few hundred dollars to fix it, I'll still make more reselling the car. And uh, I've deemed my life worth more than a 2001 Ford Taurus. So regardless of whether we get this car working again or not, I'm going to buy a new car. And right now I'm looking at a bunch of uh, Toyota Tundras, around 15, 20 K more than I've ever, probably 10 times more than I've ever spent on a car. But uh, at this point, I think I have to finance something and we need to get the Taurus fixed because I have to, you know, go drive around and look at these cars. So this mechanic should be here in about 20 minutes. He's gonna diagnose. We'll see what he has to say. Transit Connect. All right, it's not that nice of a car, so I'm not too worried. Since I smelled a lot of gas, I think it might be the fuel pump, but this guy's gonna take a look at it and see what it is. So I'm wearing this nonsense mask because my parents believe in this nonsense. <laughs> So the guy's saying it's the engine computer and he just wants to replace the computer. It's like a $150 part. What I'm worried about is if that's not the problem and I put in 200 to this car and then it's another 200 to actually fix the issue, that's where I made a mistake, but we'll see. So this mechanic said it was the engine computer and that it needs to be replaced, but that doesn't make any sense because the car starts when I feed it gas. Uh, so I think it's the fuel pump but that job involves taking out the entire gas tank because on the Ford Taurus, the fuel pump is inside the gas tank. So I think we're just gonna look for another car and uh, I'm looking at uh, some pickup trucks right now. I think I said that earlier. Uh, so we'll go see a uh, dealership in Jersey and if there's anything we wanna get, uh, hopefully sooner than later because don't really have anything to drive right now. Yeah, I mean, with what's going on, the only place I really go is the post office and the supermarket, but uh, whenever I need to do things like fill up some propane or whatever, it's a little irritating, you know, going down to Frankie's range meat once a week. So I'm at the commercial truck dealership in New Jersey, and we're taking a look at a 2005 Toyota Tundra. Uh, this is the main model I was thinking of getting. So we're going to take it for a drive. Only like 70,000 miles. I don't really know if I uh, want to go for a diesel engine or if I want to go for something like this, but... It's an 
effort. Nanny will never come in here. <laughs> Oh my God. I've never driven a truck or a car this big before, but I'm sure oh it'll be fine. God. It's not like a commercial vehicle. 66817. This is actually like the exact same mileage as my Taurus when it took a shit. Uh, so, nice looks really car. nice, clean inside. AC was working, which is a, an upgrade. We didn't have AC. <laughs> old, old stuff. No worry about Wi Fi in here. So, we took it for a drive. The front left light is actually out when I went to check the lights. I don't know what this is for. I guess I should have been buying a truck. Meyer genuine parts, probably. Engine looks really good. This is a 2005 car. There's only a little bit of a little bit of rust on the metal. They got a bunch of trucks though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what he has. This thing is gigantic. See, th this Tundra is a big car, but this thing, the wheels are like, like look at that wheel, and then. This, this wheel must probably cost like what is this tire guys like fifteen hundred dollars yeah that's a no for me and this diesel engine something happens with this car you're probably out like ten thousand dollars minimum for repair unless you know how to fix it yourself so that's not gonna fly so everything looked good but i got a little sketchy so i went underneath and i double checked and it's all rusted out you know they painted over it and there's a bit of rubber on it you know it doesn't look that good so they're a bit short on trucks the guy's saying that they're not getting that many from the auction anymore uh, and as i said that toyota has too much rust definitely not going to get it he's got a car from 1999 i'll show you guys it's a little crazy but all these trucks they they sprayed the rust underneath with some type of coating besides this one which we'll look at now ford it's only got 30,000 miles f350 but the bottom has all the, the black paint on it from rust. I just don't know enough about cars to, to make a judgment call on this. But I'm assuming 1999, 30,000 miles, no one's bought it yet, that I shouldn't buy it either. Like this doesn't look bad, but like that, eh, not good. It's got 100K on it and the interior inside it looks better i mean they sprayed that too they sprayed that well we'll take it for a drive might as well since i'm down here maybe we're just gonna have to go back on craigslist and, and see what else is available there was another uh truck for sale that had a bit higher mileage and it looked okay so maybe i'll call that guy up tomorrow unfortunately we didn't end up getting a pickup truck and uh, we're gonna go look at a couple other dealers over the next week or two I don't know when that's going to happen. You know, I might not get a car for a week or two or three, but it's going to be sooner than later because I'm not going to try to fix this Taurus. You know, as much as I'd like to, you know, take the whole thing apart and try to fix it myself, I don't have jack stands. I don't have a lot of tools. I'd spend $100, $200 and stuff just to, to start working on the car. So thank you guys for joining me. You know how to support me down in the description. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.